Ed Kruger is a radio engineer who did something 50 years ago they said couldn't be done. He designed the first radio network for the entire New York City subway system. It was thought that since the trains run underground, radios wouldn't broadcast there. But Ed, who worked for Motorola at the time, figured out a way to make it work. Originally, the subway and the subway police needed some communications, and underground communications had never been done before. So when I say we, Motorola, got the contract, and the industry said, industry said we could not do it underground, but uh, we proved them wrong. We did it underground. Okay, now excuse my technological in ignorance, but doesn't radio mean there's no wires? So you were running wires down there? Well, we ran wires, and it wasn't a wire. It was basically an antenna. But anyway, the Transit Authority had the fifth largest police department in the country underground. Underground? Yeah, on the trains and in the stations, which are all underground. Were you ever worried that they were right, that it couldn't be done? No. You knew it could be, huh? Yeah. How did, how did you show them how you, how you had designed it? Did you make a drawing? In two instances where there was multiple subway lines above and below and all that, my modeling experience helped out because I built models of those two stations. So you built a model train to show them how the subway system should in, be wired. In two, in two instances, yeah. Oh, wow. Well, will you show us your model trains? Sure. All right. Any time. Ed has been building model trains for 62 years. Wow, look at that railroad set. He has worked on this particular set for 17 years. With his radio engineer background, Ed designs pretty sophisticated electrical systems for his trains. He belongs to a model train club in St. George that meets each week. He uses his memories of trains in New Jersey as a child to design his sets. At the end of World War II, Ed had a unique experience. He flew over Tokyo in a bomber, supposedly loaded with an atomic bomb, while the Treaty of Surrender was being signed on the battleship Missouri. Much later, during his career at Motorola, Ed helped design the specifications for the base antennas for the new device called a cellular phone. And tell me how you participated in, this, in the cell phone industry becoming in coming into being. Motorola has what they call an antenna farm where you design antennas and how they propagate. And when they check in the propagation of an antenna, we bring in engineers from around the country. So I did the propagation studies for cell phones. Well, so, so you are one of the pioneers though in the cell phone industry. Yeah. 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 Ed helped design the radio and cell phone antennas on top of the World Trade Center. He insisted on another base location in New Jersey, which ended up being the only police and fire department antennas operating in the region after 9-11. Ed eventually became Eastern Vice President for Safety for Motorola. He and his wife, Jean, retired to St. George in 1988. So tell me, back to the subways, how many miles of subways are there in 262. New York City? 262. 262 miles of subways. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I walked them all. Ed Kruger is one of those people who make us say, you did that? We're glad he chose to retire to Southern Utah. If you know someone who has had amazing experiences, call us at Sun News, 435-879-4274 or visit southernutahnow.com.